Welcome to Hood View. You are here listening in on a John George Jr. Betty Sinclair storyline on Hooddale Streets about situationships. Let's see. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's good, everybody? Hopefully you like the introductions. I thought that would be a little bit better. All right, you guys, it says we have a John George Jr. Betty Sinclair story. Wealth in your root belly. All right, so let's see what's up. Wealth in your root belly. Right before, you know, uh, we were tuning in. It's a narcissist, not my narcissist or narcissist towards me, but I don't fucking know. Just a narcissist, period. I could tell. Um, he travels through the neighborhood periodically at a certain time, multiple times within that time. So say I'll go up the street to the store, the market or something, five times within an hour. And I just go around the parking lot or something like that. Or I just, I go around the parking lot and go to the next. So forth. I don't know how significant that may be um, for this read. This John George Jr. Betty Sinclair storyline and wealth in your root belly. But that's something that occurred. So I thought I would share it with you guys, okay? Boom. I'm pretty sure it's going to like resonate with something. But just saying, FYI, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm randomly pulling some uh, index flashies. All right. I don't love myself, but you do, divine masculine, divine feminine. So it has something to do with someone that has problems with themselves and you don't. So they want you to feel some type of insecurity. Um, things are getting better. So it's like, you know, with this John George Jr., Betty Sinclair storyline or whatever, you are somebody that knows somebody that's in this situation. You know what I'm saying? You're not really in this situation, but you know that person. Joe, I want to know what times you want. They want your vibe. Like, I forget about that narcissistic ass energy. They be like, ciphering and looking for a lick. But it's energy, right? What does it take to be yours? They're trying to gas you. Gaslight you, whatever. Too many games, but you picked up on that energy. About this motherfucker that we're talking about with this John George Jr. Betty Sinclair storyline, right? It's somebody that was caught up in situationships or whatever. Um, codependent situationships, uh, narcissistic, uh, codependent situationships. Also looking for empaths, people that have kind hearts, loving hearts, you know what I'm saying? That they can mutate off of or whatever. Will gas you all day, not who I say I am, with the too many games. 
make you think one thing, then go do another. I'm slick. I play with your mind. You are my forever one. So it's almost like since you didn't get caught up in the bullshit or whatever, you they forever one. They start calling like a motherfucker or whatever. You want nothing to do with this motherfucker, but in their mind, they're like, you're the one that got away. You know what I'm saying? Because I was able to deplete or deplete, take down um, all the others or whatever. You are super smart. You know what it is. Bless inner child. You are wise. The golden one. Stay true to who you are. You are on your path. Angels are with you. Thank you, Ace, for being with me. Thank you, God. And great. And ancestors. All right. I'm a bad mother. Fuck them kids. I need a man. I have these babies to keep the man in the bag. Okay. All right. Thought I didn't see. I saw you, liar. Okay. I've always hated you first day. I live this vibe. No need to fake. Pisces woman. Physic, intuitive, fantasy, dreams, comfortable, sensitive, intellectual, intelligent. You might be intellectual as well. Empathetic. Okay. I love to fuck with your head. That's twice. The mind and the head. Tell you what needs to be said while I go do something else so you wouldn't think. So it goes back to the fact that, like I said, with this John George Jr. Betty Sinclair storyline, wealth in your root belly. You cross paths with somebody that's a fuck motherfucker. And that's exactly what it is. A fuck motherfucker. And they ain't a fuck motherfucker situation shit. And thank God you're not. Okay. Angels all around. <laughs> Keeping data. We know the facts. The verdict is you are my forever one. But you are the forever one because you did not get caught up. And you guys forever one. Fuck them. Anyways, I don't love myself. But you do divine masculine, divine feminine. Stay the fuck up. Fuck these little vibe motherfuckers. Fuck you. All right. Give to who you can get from fairness. She is the one. God is working. You left. So I wish no one would ever want you. I wish you come back to me. I know I'm not the one. I just don't want to see you with the one. Come back to me. I'm a demon. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? They know they ain't the one. But they want to sit here and try to pull you into their fuck shit because they know they a fuck motherfucker. All right. I can't have my baby dad, so I fuck around. So it might be other people in this situation with this John George Jr., Betty Sinclair. We also have Jokin and him and Sheba as characters in this scenario. And they could possibly be trying to cross fire and make a relationship work and it didn't work. So since you stand 10 toes down by your motherfucking self or whatever, doing it in your way, the way God wants you to do it, because it ain't nobody else's business. Your business is between you and God, right? Since you're doing it the correct way, they're feeling some type of way because their relationships are not working because they took deals from the devil and they try to pretend to be something that they're not and try to obtain some shit, some narcissistic ass energy. Like I said, that I didn't know that if this reading was going to portray or come out or match up to what I said in the beginning about this narcissist that I noticed, you know, in the public. I don't know this man from Adam to fucking Eve like that or whatever, but I'm saying as far as reading energy and knowing what a motherfucker is, yeah, I have a, a, a narcissist as fucking stalker that feels like whatever, but side note, because we're not going to even go into deep with that because this motherfucker wants his little five minutes of fucking fame every chance he can fucking get. You feel me? Like just a little note of something, a little bit of, you know, so we ain't giving this motherfucker no water. All right. I love you. I love you too, high vibes. I care about your soul. I want the best for you. This is God saying, guardian of his ancestors saying, you know, they care about your vibe and you live this vibe, no need to fake it while they was sitting here trying to do some other shit or they pretend to be like that because we got Gemini in here in reverse, which that could be Gemini Sagittarius energy or whatever. We got very extroverted, ready to go, versatile, need stimulation, competitive, love, a challenge. Guess I wasn't ratchet enough. Love how well dressed you are. They never wanted to take care of themselves, use others. So it goes back to that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? They was looking at you like some damn bait. And since you said, hell the fuck, now, nah, Cletus Cleetta. 
they took that as a personal challenge and got upset and started wishing bad on you, sending an evil eye towards you and everything instead of going to go live their life because they can't get live their life. They ain't got no life. You feel me? <laughs> they ain't got no life. We're going to leave it there. Baby mama issues. Mm-hmm. I do my whole shit online. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Fuck them. They wish they could do you. Ha. They can't. Pussy. Angels, God, we got you. You got this. Smile, baby. Feel you. All right. Bitch, I love married men. Like people that are already involved with someone. That shit crazy. Your ass got caught, bitch. I got mad because you moved on, so I blocked. Uh, this is my body. This is our body. Please, it's Cleetta. <laughs> they crazy, ain't they? You're the right one for me. I love you very deep. You are my forever one. The way you can code, master it, figure in the code, the keys to this God. Speaking, what are you And I love y'all too. She is the one, the one I want. You make me better, God. Did you send this? I love y'all too. High vibes. All right. We know what it is. We healed, doing my healing. God has our back tenfold, tenfold down with God. You know it. Speak your truth. God won't let them stop you. Lucky numbers, you can look into your second house, your fourth house, your sixth house, your eighth house, and your tenth house. Your sirens in the background, synchronicity. Watching you to learn how they could be you, to use it, to gain what you have. Stop trying to make me stay. My heart is them. There's some crazy ass shit going on. Excuse me. What's on my game when I met you. I planned this well before I came to you. I fucked up coming to use what you got. You got me evil shit. That goes back to them trying to control you. And you ain't no fucking person that's going to be controlled or whatever. I thought you was an empath and they're a narc. But you are a dark empath as far as then. You are a narc's worst dream because you're not going to fucking listen to their motherfucking asses. They want to sit here and try to feed off your energy and get all this information so then they can turn around and throw it in your motherfucking face and you don't even give a fuck. Bitch, you ain't got no face. How about that, bitch? You want to sit here and try to throw all my trials and tribulations off in my face, whatever? How about you don't even have a fucking soul, bitch? You don't have accountability or nothing for yourself. You're just in the void and you stay in the void, bitch. All right, side so note, y'all. Excuse me for the cuss words, not for what I said. You scared the fuck out of me, baby. Well, be scared, ho. You see it, you say it, you feel it, you know it. God is backing you. How? Wow, God loves you because I'm speaking from the heart, bitch. All right. I am putting this shit to rest. I am pissed. You will not do my child like that. My wrath is here. That's a message from God, y'all. God is working. All right. Hey, some cards to fill down. November. North Node. Keep her a secret. Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, and Gemini. Check to see if that's in your chart. Or it could be somebody that's trying to battle you or something or whatever. But just check to see if it's in your chart. Selecting. All right. I was just trying to make sure there was any there wasn't anything else on the floor. That done went in deep. We haven't been going for a little while, it seems like. Um, and we just did flashies. You know. Oh, take what resonates with these people. They want something depressed so i want the same for you you uh knew you were full of shit knew you were gassing me how did you know that i was a sex money love lust dirty messy hoe i was playing both sides so check out that um read with the cusper energy playing both sides that was screaming out to me the whole time i was delivering the messages to y'all though when you try to move on here i come i'm still the same don't want to see you move on But we already done moved on, high vibes. They're stuck in the fucking mind, in the soul, in the heart, wherever the fuck they're stuck at. That's why they keep trying to pull us down there. But we ain't going, bitch. <laughs> we ain't going, ho. Excuse me for the cuss words, not for what I said. Come out when I start playing the same game as you, don't be mad when you lose. No, you're losing and you're mad because you're losing. Bruh, sis. Please, Cleata. 
You know what I'm saying? Money comes, flows to me always. I don't love myself, but you do, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. I don't give a fuck in my loud voice. They want you to feel bad for being happy and loving you. They will pay for what they did towards you. I'm a bad mother. I live this vibe. No need to fake. Ho. Dark skin. Keeping data. We know the facts. The verdict. Play like everything is good. It is not all good. I am so sad on the inside. When I don't have anyone or anyone on my side, bitch, let's ride. Cook me something. Give me some of that. Or give me some hair, please. And then I'm gone. That shit crazy. I dog women for fun. I will tell you the truth. I, lo I love how you face the truth. You speak the truth even when it may be hard to do. I love you for that. Shit, it wasn't hard for their asses to do the shit. So I'm talking about it. Motherfuckers want to come for you in privacy or whatever. They can come to you face to face and then you can cuss their motherfucking asses out and then block their bitch ass because you got no business coming into my motherfucking space. I'm not bothering you. I'm not worried about you. But a motherfucking narc think that they can overstep your boundaries. You got to let their motherfucking ass know each and every motherfucking time because they a retard. They don't get it the first time. The hell, obviously, because if they did, they would stop. Was on my game when I met you. I planted this well before I came to you. I fucked up coming to use what you got. You got me evil shit. Yeah, because they done tried to take so many other people down. Or they have took so many people down. Depleted them from their energy, them, their confidence, how they take care of themselves, just downgrading them, downgrading them, telling you'll never be nothing or they, like they just know better. Bitch, if you know so much, then won't you do that for yourself? I can't stand a ratchet ass, dusty ass motherfucking man that want to sit and tell you how pretty you are, how you should take care of yourself. And bitch, you don't even wipe your own motherfucking ass. Do you wipe your own ass? Do you brush your own motherfucking teeth, bitch? But you can sit here and try to tell a woman that she's not beautiful enough. She's not enough. She's not kind enough. She doesn't need that hair or whatever she does to her own hair, however she put presents herself internally and externally. Whatever she chooses that makes her happy, feel comfortable in the skin that she's in. It be bitch ass, cunt, punk bitches. I gotta say it again. Noodles. Men's that's in like little boys and grown men bodies that feel like it's okay for you to dictate how a woman presents herself. You're not a pussy. Stop acting like one. Okay? God is working. You scare the fuck out of me, baby. You see it, you say it, you feel it, you know it. God is backing you out. Wow, God loves you. I am putting this shit to rest. I'm pissed. You will not do my child like that. My wrath is here. It came out again. But I'm just saying, like, Bruh, sis, you can't tell me how to be me because I'm being me. How about you try being you, ho? How about that? Got you like God got you, baby. They are an op. They want what you have, and they can't have it, bitch. I'm a bad mother. I live this vibe. Um, I don't need to fake. Everything is all right. Keep going. Of course, everything is all right. High vibes talking to me through the cards, along with guardians and God, of course. But I'm just explaining this energy as far as a narcissist that felt like they, they could do this to you or whatever. And that's not what's popping. It's not happening. And I hope high vibes that this helped you in the best way. And we're going to get the hell up out of here. We didn't even use no demo. You feel me? But we used Oracle and we had a whole conversation about this child, George Jr. Betty. Sinclair. All right, peace and love.